Welcome everyone to the La Jolla Cosmetic Podcast. I'm your hostess, Monique Ramsey. Today I have a great lady in our podcast room. She's a patient who has a remarkable journey on our signature Skinny Shop program, and we're honored that she's willing to share her story and her experience with you, our audience, and for anybody out there who's thinking about, you know, maybe making a change in their life and losing a little weight, getting to that goal that you've always wanted. So welcome, Nan. Hello. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Nice to be here. So how long have you been thinking about, you know, making a change with your weight and maybe even struggling with weight? For a long time. I had gained weight like a lot of people during COVID, just being home a lot, cooking, having wine while I was cooking, and <laughs> managed to gain like 50 pounds. And oh my gosh. My normal weight is 135, 140. And I hadn't weighed myself. One day I got on the scale and I was 192. Oh my gosh. So, you know, I knew about Ozempic and all the different things. And I decided just to go for it. Finally got the nerve in March because I was afraid of the needles, which are <laughs> nothing, absolutely yeah. nothing. And right off the bat, I lost like the first 10 days, 17 pounds. And then oh it my gosh. continued, you know. Wow. Yeah. So you lost 17 pounds in a week? Like about 10 days. 10 days. So oh my gosh. It was crazy. And, and then you feel really encouraged, you know, and want to continue. And this has been, as of today, I'm 162. I still have, you know, 20 pounds or more, but it's just so encouraging and it's so easy. So I have struggled as well with my weight for years uh -huh. and then hit menopause and it got even better. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, wow, yeah. okay. So I was, you know, I'm 5'1". So I was up to 186. Oh, and that's funny. I'm now Same. at 138. Oh, yeah, 138. So, but I mean, there were some numbers where I'm like, I haven't been under 160 in a long time. Yes. And then I wasn't under 150 in forever. Absolutely. And then when I broke the 140, it's just like those little milestones. It's and so, so, so huge. What's your, your goal is what? Between 135 and 140. So I'm five yeah. foot three. So okay. not that tall and to have gained all that weight. I've never, you know, so, and there's also diabetes in my family. That was the other concern. Yeah. So I'm that, just that's glad exactly, to get it yeah, down. That's exactly yeah. why I ended up on the Ozempic for my doctor because I yes. ended up in type two diabetes land, which yeah, is, yeah. you know, and my grant, it runs in my family too. And it was like all of a sudden, wait, what? <laughs> yes, <laughs> How did that happen? Like, I know. You know, you just don't know and because you don't feel any different. You know no. you're bigger, but you don't feel different. Yes. And so I think that's part of the problem and it, that's what's scary. So, so I scary. love that you're sort of taking taking control of it uh -huh. and decided to do something about it. And had you tried prior to deciding to do the skinny shot, had you done anything to try to sort of <sighs> lose the weight? So many things. Like it, it just, I eat really, really healthy, but, po you know, portion size was a problem. I just could not lose even five pounds. Like it was just impossible. And, you know, an age thing, I suppose people say, but it's all true. And I exercise every day, but I could not, there was just no way I could lose even five pounds. So it has just been, it's helped so much. And when you see your clothes starting to fit, that's huge. Yeah. And, and while, you know, 17 pounds in 10 days is really sort of you're on the, the edge of like, that almost is like it's weight, crazy. almost too much in, in that short of period of time. Uh -huh. But but everybody's different. You know, some people don't lose any right away and then, then they start losing. Other people, like I think for me, I lost seven or eight pounds uh -huh. in about the same period of time, maybe okay. issue. But what's nice about that this, from what I've seen at least, mm -hmm. is that jump start. Because then you don't give up. It's and I true. think so yes. many of us who might have struggled with our weight over time, mm -hmm. it, it, when you're making all this effort yeah. and then you don't see a result, you're like, oh, yeah, forget it. Exactly. You know, I'll just have that glass of wine <laughs> or I'll skip the workout or, you know, and, and so I think true. what has been interesting to me, and I'm, I'm interested to hear your side of things and your experience is sort of 
the that food noise that you like the brain going oh I want a snack oh I want this oh it just for me it went away and ha- tell me about for you kind of that experience with these shots and how you felt different in that that first let's say month I felt kind of the same that you did after the the big weight loss then it slowed down and I remember thinking oh no I'm going to be the one that it doesn't work for but then after I got to, and it sounds so for my height, into the 170s, then it, you know, by then I had the whole eating, the the portion size, and I'd reward myself with, because I love wine, a glass of wine like once a week, which is really unusual mm-hmm. because usually I love to cook and I'd have a glass of wine every day. So yeah. it's like a a lifestyle, you know, you, you see what's happening and I could not do it on my own. So mm-hmm. it's just a really good, it really worked for me. Well, and when I heard about, and I don't know a ton about it, uh-huh. but when I heard about metabolic resistance mm. syndrome, mm-hmm. sort of like your body, I mean, we already all have our own whatever physiological makeup and yeah. what's, what's going to happen with food and how our body... Pro- but, you know, if you're maybe resistant, like if your body's resisting you lo- losing the weight, mm-hmm. no matter what you're doing, it's, you know, th- so this sort of, I don't know why, <laughs> but it works. And so what, when you, for like, how did you first hear that we were doing it and, and what made you jump on the bandwagon? You know, a lot of people I know were just going online and doing it. But I wanted to have the control like with a doctor and or, you know, like the gals here that are so helpful and so knowledgeable that have helped like every step of the way. So I wanted to have somebody like with me, weighing me and being able to speak with someone instead of somebody just online. And it's worked out so well. I love everybody here. Everybody's been oh, so great. That's so nice. Yep. Some people want accountability. Mm-hmm. So there's those check-ins at the beginning. Yes. Some people don't want accountability. <laughs> yeah. Like yep. Leave me alone. Let me just do the shot. Yeah. And but but they want maybe that partnership. Yes. You know, th- that you've got a companion that you know that you've got their phone number and we can like help you through right. whatever. Right. You're, you, because everybody's different, like you said. And some people get you know, feel really sick and nauseous and we can fix that. Like there's so many things yes. you can tweak, Yeah, but you don't know unless you have somebody you feel like you can ask. That's right. Who's going to actually answer the phone. I know. And it's been great for that reason. You know, not that I'm like constantly calling or, you know, but when I have had questions about, I, that's the other thing I have not had other than in the very beginning, like the first two days I had after the shot, I had a headache. After mm. that, I have not had one side effect. Nothing. That is great. That is great. And I think what's interesting is that now that there's that other, so there's two products. So uh-huh. there's the semaglutide, which is the Ozempic Wagovi. Okay. And there's the terzepatide, which works on two gut hormones. Uh-huh. The same one of the gut hormones that you get with, with the semaglutide. Uh-huh but then also works on a second gut hormone. And for, okay. I guess the the studies have shown that that formulation, people have more weight loss uh-huh. and they have less side effects. So uh, for okay. the, but it's more expensive because mm. it's more expensive to buy, but it's a good thing. Like if you don't need it, <sighs> great. You know, but if you do, yeah. at least there's, it, whether we're, we're, changing your dose up or we're changing some of the things that you're doing yep. or eating or when you're eating or the things you might be eating yes. or yep. even even a little wine. Like I found I can hardly drink just because I, it sits in your stomach longer. Same. You know, your whole gastric system is sort of slowed down. So, so you're true. fuller, you're fuller quicker yes. you're, and you're fuller for longer. And so when that goes it's wrong- It's a win-win. <laughs> It is a win-win unless you eat too much mistakenly yeah. or maybe something that isn't agreeing with you because it's in there longer. Yeah. And what I found is as much, I'm not a huge drinker, but I enjoy right. to have something. It's, I, you know, I have to just be really careful because I know it, like, do I really want that feeling? I because know. it's going to be there for a while. Yes, exactly. So you kind of learn. And this is where it's nice that we sort of 
have our our staff to be able to crowdsource, you know, right. like, oh, well, this this worked for this patient and let's try that with you. Yeah. So let me back up for a moment and talk about your consultation. When you had your consultation with Dr. Haas, uh-huh. was that in person or on Zoom? It was Zoom. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And so tell me about like, how was that? Was that hard to do or um, not too hard? You know, it wasn't, for me, it wasn't hard just because I was so motivated to start, you know, the whole process. And he was very, very friendly, he thought that I was a good candidate just because such a huge weight gain. And, you know, I always say it was like a year, but no, it was going on two or three. And he was, he was just so understanding and made it really easy. And yeah. he's, so for anybody who doesn't know in our audience, uh-huh. Dr. Haas is one of our anesthesiologists. So we've, he's been here every day for, you know, 20 something years. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> he's yeah. wonderful. He's wonderful. And, but he was, prior to that, he was in like internal medicine. And so he has yeah. a whole big background. And I think he was, ran the weight loss center through the Navy at the base. Yes. Here. Anyway. Someone mentioned that. We have yeah. a, we have a Meet Dr. Haas podcast episode, ah. and we also have an episode where he does just talk about, about the semaglutide oh, and good. the tercepatide and kind of why he was interested in ha- heading up this program. Uh-huh. And you know, one thing about him, he's very, very conservative, and I like that because yeah. I think people don't know. Like Some people are like, oh yeah, give me whatever, yes. I'm good. Yes. And other people are like, oh, I don't know. That's yeah. like scary to me. Yep. And you know, so having somebody who's if anything, going to be more conservative, I feel like is a nice thing. I do too. If you have the nerves about the medicine. If you don't yeah. have nerves about the medicine, it doesn't matter. Exactly. But <laughs> He's so knowledgeable. Do. No, I, yeah, I did kind yeah. of, and he just put me at ease. And having, you know, the the where we get the, the, the compounded medicine from, mm-hmm. there's only certain pharmacies that are like FDA certified okay. to get them through because yes. you could get them from who knows where That's and who scary. knows what it is. Right. And it is. You might be getting the real thing. You might not. Yes. I know. <laughs> I don't want to take that chance. I'm not taking so, that chance either. Yeah. Yeah. So then that's the other thing. Part of the program is really that that you know you're getting the right stuff that's not contaminated yes. with who knows what. That's that's ex- I I totally agree. You know, yeah. which is another nice thing. If if I had gotten sick. I just know that, you know, everybody here is so helpful, would have just worked with me to change the the dosage. But I just think like really my whole story is unique. I, I really had the worst, I shouldn't say that, but negative, like, you know, oh, this isn't going to work. Nothing else has worked. And it has been such a great adventure for me. So I still have till September is when... I'm supposed to be at my goal. Okay. Well, that's good. Well, have you been having fun with stuff in your closet? If you're like me, oh my you gosh. kept stuff that, that you go, oh, someday I'll fit in that. Yep. yep. Tell me about that. And my closet isn't big enough. I'm in a condo. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like the jeans, trying on, okay, it's summer, What you know, white jeans. Let's see. I've got them in every size. Let's see what fits now. Right, which one? Yeah. And it's really... <laughs> I mean, there's no way these things would have gotten over my stomach, you know, a couple of months ago. And it is just the best feeling. I love that. I I actually one day was kind of cleaning out my closet and, you know, yeah. I'm I'm in a condo too, so it's not huge. Yeah. And so I thought, well, you know, while I'm like doing this, I'll just try some jeans. It's like see which things I can give away. And I was stuck. There was pairs where I thought, no, I'm not there yet. And I put them on and like one of them was even a little bit loose around oh, the waist. Wow, and I was fun. like, how did that happen? Yeah, you know, because yes. I think it depending and for out anybody out there in the audience kind of with your own weight uh-huh. issues, if it's been a while, then yeah. you're kind of like more in that, like I'll always be there. There's yes, no way I'll yes. be that small again. Yeah. And, and even sort of the brain... I I saw a picture of myself that was taken from far away. Uh-huh. And in a big group at a party. And I was looking at it. I'm like, who is that? And it was me. And I was like, how 
but I How don't fun. even recognize myself. And it's yeah. been two years. So I've been doing this over two years. Wow. Okay. And I'm sort of at a little plateau. I've been hanging around the 137, you look 138. Oh, thank <laughs> you. But I've kind of been hanging in there for like six months. Uh-huh. So I kind of need to like decide what I'm going to do to get to, because I'm thinking the same you. Like, okay, if I want to be at a goal where I can keep it yes. after, you know, I don't want to get to, you know, even if I'm 5'1", if 115 is the correct weight for me, uh-huh. I don't, there's no way. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I don't think that'll work. But I think it's an interesting brain shift, sort of. And tell me a little bit about, for you, like with your relationship with food or with your clothes or how has it sort of impacted any of those things? It has because it's really funny. I think there's an ad on TV about, guess what you're going to be saving on the grocery store. It's so true. For a while, I like every day I would eat a huge salad for, you know, my whole life. And the only thing that I really go to the store for now is veggies, fruit, and ugh, everything else. Chicken is just really a small amount. And yeah. I would never, ever have thought that because I love to cook. But I I feel like when I get to my goal, just to even, you know, and I might try to get like five pounds below, just so I have that to kind of play with. That's always what I've done my whole life until COVID came and destroyed that whole, you know. Right. And that's the thing. Yeah. You, we short pe- people don't have a lot of buffer room, you <laughs> know. True. Five pounds is like a big difference it's or 10 true. versus someone else. Yeah. And and it, it, you just don't have the wiggle room. Now, are there any foods, uh, especially since you're a cook, oh. that you used to love that you don't really love anymore? Oh, or Not really. The one thing that I notice, and this is so weird, but I love coffee. I'm a real coffee drinker. I have one cup of coffee now. It just yeah. is, n- I don't know why. And when I was pregnant with my daughter a million years ago, the one thing that nauseated me was coffee. But otherwise... I don't know. Did did that happen to you with different foods? That's yeah, yeah, actually. So it it and that's why I wanted to ask you because so coffee is definitely one coffee. Some, I I love coffee. Uh-huh. And I I drink it black. I don't really if I'm out for breakfast somewhere I'll yeah, use cream cuz their coffee is always stronger than what uh, I have at home. Right. But I think it's the acid that oh, you that, maybe it's just too much acid sitting in your stomach. That so see, be. I've had two years to figure this out. Yes. Oh my gosh. That's... <laughs> I'm like, but I've been thinking about like certain things, like why is that happening? And I, I've heard from some people that like really greasy food or anything really oh, yeah. heavy yeah. can really make your tummy upset. Yeah. So you have to just be careful. It spicy. doesn't mean you can't eat it right. or spicy. Right. Yeah. And I think again, because it's in your tummy longer mm-hmm. and but you know what I what I do love about this is that you're not really restricted mm-hmm. in any way. No. In terms of what you're having. Exactly. Because you really can't eat that much of it anyway. I, it's <laughs> so true. Full. Like I'm just You get too full. Yeah. I, I've been just craving pizza. And I'm thinking, you know what? Last time I made just a just a frozen pizza and just doctored it up. I normally I could eat a whole one, pizza myself. And I had two pieces and that was it. And I didn't feel guilty and beat myself up over it. So isn't that like a freeing sort of feeling? It's the best. Yes. Now, let me ask you one other thing. Mm -hmm. In the first, let's say, few months, Uh like for me, portion control was a thing because I was so used to eating more. Me too. Two pieces of toast or two eggs or instead of one. Mm -hmm. And that... I found it hard to sort of wrap my brain around, I don't need that much. And Mm -hmm. now I'm used to it, right? But it's been a couple of years and I'm getting closer. But did you find any of that? I have found like when I, when I eat, if it's something really, really good and I'm getting full and I think, oh my gosh, see here, this is weird, but I wish I could eat a little more, but but I feel full. So why push it? You know? Yeah. But yeah. it's so good it won't be as good tomorrow. So yeah. But, <laughs> and, yeah. and it's hard to not push. I was at a I wedding know. last weekend. Okay. I was at a wedding up in the Bay Area. Uh-huh. And they had a paella guy. Ooh. I didn't know there. <gasps> so he comes with these big, huge. And it was sort of almost like a show before dinner. Oh, fun. He's getting the paella ready and they had a vegetarian option and a meat and chicken and whatever option. And 
well, you know, and they're trying to, they're plopping so much food on all these plates. And I'm like, give me like a third of what you just gave that lady. <laughs> yep. And even then, so I'm eating it. It was delicious. I was hungry. I didn't have a lot of lunch that day. We were, I was helping my friend set up. Uh-huh. And so I probably took maybe three more bites than I should have. And when you think about paella, it's like rice, yes. you know, and I think the rice <laughs> expanded and I... <laughs> really regretted that. Oh. <laughs> everybody got up to dance. They had a whole thing going on. And I was sitting there like, I just hope I keep my dinner in my stomach. Yes. <laughs> it was yes. awful. You know, yeah. and all it was Worst was a couple feeling. bites and maybe it was what I was having, but it was still that thing. I'm like, oh. And so I told my friend, Alicia, I said, Alicia, I'm so sorry. I wasn't not dancing right. because of anything other than the fact I had a few too many bites of that really good diet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you learn. So you, you do learn. learn. And it, it takes a while to see what, like, it you know, does. rice, that, it, mm -hmm. it does. It fills you and, you. and I just put like a spoonful of yeah. rice if I'm having stir fry. But I don't, that's all I need. I mean, this is just, for me, this is a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> it's a well, miracle. It seems, well, I love that. I love that, you know, because it has been for me also yeah, a miracle. Good. And, yeah. and I think our society is very interesting because it's almost like there's a group of people out there who are like, if you just dieted and exercised, if you just <sighs> ate well, you'd be fine. Yeah. You don't need this shot. And they have this whole guilt thing going on. And it's like, I want to be healthy. I want to be healthy for when I have grandkids. Yes. My son just got married this year. Yeah. I want. Uh -huh. I don't want to be, and also healthy in your mental state, not just Definitely. the diabetes and all the other stuff yeah. that I take, uh -huh. you know, from the pharmacy. Uh -huh. But it's, it, you know, and it's just like, who are they to say? It's so true. And how I get there. The, and how you get there. And I never, you, I don't keep it a secret from anyone because, uh, and I just say, I have tried for, and it's just so out of control. It's a weight that I've never weighed in my life. And I need to, with my family history and heart attacks, get on track. And yeah. this worked for me. And I can't say enough good about it. Yeah. And La Jolla Cosmetics. Oh, yeah, that's absolutely. so nice. Yeah. So tell me a couple more questions. Uh -huh. Are there any non-scale victories? So the, you know the scale victories are the ones you're like, oh my gosh, I you know yeah. I got to one seventy. Yes, you know, I haven't been there in a while. That was a big scale victory. <sighs> but what yeah. about non-scale victories? Have you noticed? Last weekend, my friend said, "Okay, enough." Like I had something really baggy on, and she looked and she said, that, "This is enough." Like start trying on your jeans. Start doing yeah. this. And I really kind of hadn't until mm -hmm. this week and everything just finally fits. So it's true. Now I'm feeling like I have a belt on today. That's a real, real plus for me. For me. Yeah. I didn't think that's I'd ever. That's a huge victory. Isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it little is. things and when you, like that. I went from a large belt yeah. to a medium. So, and cute. I didn't have, I looked at old belts and I yeah. didn't even, now I've got some really old belts that are really cute, but uh -huh. they're like way too small. We're not there yet. Yeah. But, <laughs> but just the fact is like, oh shoot, I need to buy a belt. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's, I know. You know. And it's like this, yeah, like you say, it's like liberating to be like, oh, so okay. liberating. this is so fun. It's this so liberating. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure like, like you, we just have some nice clothes that I can part with and mm -hmm. oh, that's never going to fit again. Well, guess what? It's working. <laughs> yeah. And as far as friends and family, uh -huh. you know, what, what has, ha, you said you're open about it. Yeah. Have, have, what's kind of been the feedback? My family is, you know, most of them in Wisconsin and Florida. And I was telling my brother the other day, he has a daughter that's heavy set. And I think this would be a great thing for her to be on. And he said, well, you don't, you, you've never been big. Like, you know, you don't need to lose weight. And I said, I weighed 192. Uh -huh. And he was just floored, you know, just shocked. Like, how? Like, it just can't be. But so supportive, like, you know, I'm doing this. He said, what are you doing? And, and my friends the same. If, you know, everybody wants to go out, there's a wine and food thing tomorrow night in town. And my friend wanted to go. And I thought, yeah, you know what? Like, I don't say no to anything. I just get there and I have like one. I can't even, if I push to two, I can't because it gets acidy, like you said, with the coffee. Now, speaking of the the weighing yourself, so there's an app 
right, on your phone uh-huh. that connects to the to the scale. Yes. What do you think about that app? Is it easy to use? What have you found? In the beginning, it wasn't until I brought my scale in and, you <laughs> okay. know, put it down and said, okay, what am I doing wrong? Because they kept saying to me, like, it's not coming through, but it's such an accurate scale. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I happen to have that same scale. Yeah. And so- I you know, had it for years uh-huh. and the little Bluetooth and it's very cool yes. And because it shows you your trends and it shows you your trends over time. Uh-huh. And so if you're ever like beating yourself up, you can like look at the three month or a year and yeah. you're like, oh, okay. But the little mountain is going so down. So true. It is <laughs> it's going down. Absolutely. And, and it also is kind of cool. Like <laughs> there's a great podcast called Less of You uh-huh. because there is less of you mm-hmm. and it's two ladies going through what we're doing, what you and I are uh-huh. doing with the the semaglutide. I can't wait their to experience. watch. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a good one. And they were talking about, you know, the, I, I only, I, I'm now I'm just overweight. I'm, I've gone from <laughs> red obese. Yeah. Now I'm just <laughs> overweight. And how great is that? You know? I, I know I mean, what it's an really accomplishment. <laughs> <laughs> to be, oh, I've gone from red to, I'm in yellow and I feel pretty good about yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> that's so, so true. But you can't, but it that's is, a good way to look at it, you know, just. Yeah. <sighs> just overweight, yeah. whatever, we'll take it. Yeah, um, it's but so true. I, it's, the, the, what they talk about is just so real. Oh, and that, funny. You know, if you, I, I love it and they're, they're really funny. And so anyway, I, I digress. But the other thing you mentioned, which I thought I would ask about is the journal. So tell me about how you use the journal. I've written things down like during the, the week of the 170 that or month of 170 and I couldn't lose anything. It would go mm. from like 174 to 176 and then it would go 177.6. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm never going to get out of, you know. Yeah, um, yeah, where you feel like you're stuck oh, in that Oh my little... gosh, I know. And I'm eating the same amount and, and doing exercising. But the journal just really has helped when, like today, you know, it's 30 pounds today. Um, just oh, being able I to, it. I know, being able to look back and see the progress. And I've mm-hmm. just kept up with it. That's good, that's good. I'm one of those people who... I would probably get the journal and go, actually, you can give it to somebody else. I'm not going to use it. But however, if I had been doing that mm-hmm. at the beginning, because uh-huh. I'm like your friend who were, I was yeah. really sick at the beginning. I was like, all of a sudden, I would just have to run to the bathroom and I would, it would come out of nowhere. Oh. And it was awful. Oh, no. <laughs> and so I had some months not knowing because I was, you know, with through my doctor, my G, my GP. Yeah. So I was, you know, doing it in a different way and not knowing that that is a side effect that I could have probably said something. Oh, yeah. And they probably could have helped me fix it. Yeah. But exactly. I was so happy I was losing weight. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't really want to mess it up. How, no. I was like, but I'm going in the right direction. Yeah. Exactly. But, but, but having that journal would have been helpful because I think what, I would have been there like, oh, what was the trigger? What did I eat yes, the night before? Yes. That's a really good point, you know. And so, for anybody out there, even if you're not a journal person, uh-huh. you know, to write it down or or use an app. Like some people don't want to write it down. They might want to use, there's a whole bunch of different little apps uh-huh. where you can put down what you're eating every day yeah. because it would help you see. Exactly. And especially with your doctor to be able to say, okay, let's see what what happened on this day right. that, you know, made it the next morning. Yeah. Because you might feel really full and nauseous the night before, but it's yeah. the next morning that's when... I would in, end up feeling the nausea Awful. more. Yeah. And it was often from whatever I did the night before. So what, last question, sort of, what would you tell somebody who's thinking about starting it and maybe hasn't decided? Well, I wish I had started earlier and there were just different reasons. I kept thinking, what if I don't lose? And then you think the cost, you know, but what's the cost of health? You know, if you're yeah. become a diabetic or have a, a stroke or, or a heart attack. I've had that in my family, my mom. So it just, it just makes so much sense to me now. And then I was afraid of the needle for a while. Oh, it's going to hurt. Oh my gosh. When I do it, I mean, you just don't, you don't feel it. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot it's less scary a than people tiny think it little might be. needle. Yes. And all the help that I've had here is just so, you know, just encouraging. 
Everybody oh, really good. stays with you on it. And is so, you know, how are you doing? And I've had phone calls from the people. So, I mean, it's just really a good fit for me. Yeah, oh, that's good. Yeah. I love hearing positive stories. Right. And, you know, just your willingness to be open and honest with everybody out there because it is a struggle. Yeah. But... You know, there's so many people on it now that I think... So true. You know, hopefully the tide is changing in terms of how people perceive others who might be on it. Like that's your own personal decision. Your personal, yeah. And for your health, I think that's... You know, yeah, that's a really important thing. Well, and it's nice that you still love to cook and you still yeah. oh, you know, yeah. get to do your fun things with your friends. And yeah. so thank you, Nan, for sharing oh. with everybody. Well, Nick, it was and so nice meeting you. Yeah, it was nice to meet you too. And for everybody in the audience, we'll put in the show notes links to the podcast that we have about the semaglutide with Dr. Haas, okay. the Meet Dr. Haas episode. Yes. So everything. And we'll put actually in the show notes also how to start the skinny shot. If you're thinking about it, uh-huh. at least to have a consultation with Dr. Haas. Yes. And we'll see if you're a candidate. And we even have on our specials page on our website, where there's a specials and events section okay. that you go to. And when you scroll down, there's a, there's a webinar that we did with slides. And if oh, anybody out there is interested, you can good. play it on demand. You just put in your name and your email and hit and it'll just open up and oh, it's about 30 minutes. Yeah. For your, anybody who's thinking about it, yes. that's, that's where you can get more information. Yeah. And again, Nan, thank you. Well, thanks and for having I, I'm me. I'm excited. I, I, maybe in September we can like do we a can do 10 this minute again. quick <laughs> check and see how you're doing and, okay. and you know what maintenance might look like yes. and all those fun things. Yes, exactly. We can talk about that. Awesome. Okay. okay. Well, thanks everybody. Thank and we'll see you on the next one. Take a screenshot of this podcast episode with your phone and show it at your consultation or appointment or mention the promo code podcast to receive $25 off any service or product of $50 or more at La Jolla Cosmetic. La Jolla Cosmetic is located just off the I-5 San Diego Freeway in the Zymed building on the Scripps Memorial Hospital campus. To learn more, go to ljcsc.com or follow the team on Instagram at ljcsc. The La Jolla Cosmetic Podcast is a production of The Axis, T-H-E-A-X-I-S dot I-O.